Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Tuesday, February 1st. The Gospel passage for today's Daily Mass comes to us from the 5th chapter of St. Mark's Gospel. It reads, When Jesus had crossed again in the boat to the other side, a large crowd gathered around him, and he stayed close to the sea. One of the synagogue officials named Jairus came forward. Seeing him, he fell at his feet and pleaded earnestly with him, saying, My daughter is at the point of death. Please come lay your hands on her that she may get well and live. He went off with him, and a large crowd followed him. There was a woman afflicted with hemorrhages for twelve years. She had suffered greatly at the hands of many doctors and spent all that she had. Yet she was not helped, but only grew worse. She had heard about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. She said, If I but touch his clothes, I shall be cured. Immediately, her flow of blood dried up. She felt in her body that she was healed of her affliction. Jesus, aware at once that power had gone out from him, turned around the crowd and asked, Who has touched my clothes? But his disciples said to him, You see how the crowd is pressing upon you, and yet you ask, Who touched me? And he looked around to see who had done it. The woman, realizing what had happened to her, approached in fear and trembling. She fell down before Jesus and told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has saved you. Go in peace and be cured of your affliction. While he was still speaking, people from the synagogue official's house arrived and said, Your daughter has died. Why trouble the teacher any longer? Disregarding the message that was reported, Jesus said to the synagogue official, Do not be afraid. Just have faith. He did not allow anyone to accompany him inside except Peter, James, and John, and the brother of James. When they arrived at the house of the synagogue official, he caught sight of a commotion, people weeping and wailing loudly. So he went in and said to them, Why this commotion and weeping? The child is not dead, but asleep. And they ridiculed him. Then he put them all out. He took along the child's father and mother and those who were with him and entered the room where the child was. He took the child by the hand and said to her, Talitha Kaum, which means, Little girl, I say to you, arise. The girl, a child of twelve, arose immediately and walked around. At that they were utterly astounded. He gave strict orders that no one should know this, and said that she should be given something to eat. This passage from St. Mark's Gospel is an example of what scripture scholars call a Markian sandwich, which is a passage where Jesus is going to do one miracle, and then a miraculous event happens in between the event. So again, one miracle interrupted by another miracle forming again what scholars call a sandwich. And these specific events, these marking sandwiches, help us to understand the motifs of the gospel. Especially if you go on further in, in the gospel of Mark, they talk about faith, discipleship, bearing witness, and then the dangers of losing faith. In the middle miracle nearly always provides a key to the theological purpose of the other miracle. So again, this whole event has a lot of purpose and meaning, even though at times it seems a little awkward that one event interrupts another. But again, returning to today's passage, today's Markian sandwich, the woman with the hemorrhages interruption has, of course, worked to Jairus's disadvantage, for his daughter has died. But as Jesus hears, hears, hears this announcement, Jairus's hope fails. But again, Jesus says, "Do not be afraid; just have faith." And that was the faith of the woman with hemorrhaging, with the hemorrhages. 
She had deep faith. She believed that only she had what only that she had to do was touch the ro- robes of Jesus, and she'd be healed. So the faith of the woman with the hemorrhages was the faith that Jairus needed to have, because Jesus can do what is asked of him. That again, when all human hopes are exhausted, when the limits of our experience cannot provide answers, Christ can. And again, that was true for the woman with hemorrhages, and that was true for Jairus, who had his daughter brought back from death by Jesus himself. So, if you ever go through the Gospel of Mark and encounter another one of these situations of a Markian sandwich, I hope and pray you don't become confused by them, but just read them in their entirety and see that those experiences, those events that Jesus went through, are meant to help us to get to deeper faith, to make sure that we understand that no matter what happens in our life, no matter how desperate things come, no matter how much we struggle with our hope, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ can come to us and provide healing and peace that nothing else in this world can provide. And furthermore, brothers and sisters, sometimes we don't understand all the events of our lives. It's hard to pull them all together and see a common theme. But again, I hope that these Markian sandwiches and these other other passages from sacred scripture can help us to see that even though we may struggle with understanding everything that's happening in our life, we don't have to worry because Christ in his love and mercy will provide for us and be the overall narrative if we just cling to faith and trust in him no matter what happens. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.